What glue for silicone? Well, some kinds of silicones. This is pretty fabulous. Well, hello, Ninjaneers. It's Kelly, the Crystal Ninja, and I'm going to show you guys what all is included in your Samurai Glue Kit. Uh, we also call it the Samurai Secret. Um, the secret is just a process and that we're going to share with you guys. There's nothing secret about what's inside. It's just that it's been our secret and now we're sharing it with you guys. So I hope you enjoy this kit. Inside, what you're going to receive in your little kit is going to be a few items. Um, you're going to receive a glue and a primer. You're going to receive a tray for your glue, an applicator stick. You're going to receive the Crystal Ninja Prep Kit, which includes a small sanding file and two alcohol swabs. What is not included in the kit is going to be your application tool, your katana, your kubaton, your tanto, um, your item that you're going to glue onto, whatever foam rubber or silicone item that might be, and also rhinestones or crystals are not included in this kit. Um, I'm just going to be demonstrating on this um, watch band to show the process. Other things that you might be interested in looking into getting is some kind of a, a Dremel or um, a sanding because just having the file sometimes is not enough. Or if you're going to do a lot of these projects, um, invest in a, in a little Dremel type. This is a very old one. I don't believe they make it anymore. It is my favorite for over 10 years now. Um, and it was the Dremel stylus and it's wireless. You can uh, recharge that. Um, another thing for detailed work, super, because I can actually just kind of sand the bigger areas that I'm interested in gluing onto, but for detailed work, for doing onesie, twosies, um, I have a, it's an e-file. You don't need one quite this fancy at all, um, but this is the one I have, so you can look at um, looking into a e-file to actually like little sand, little tiny, buff little tiny areas that you might be gluing only on that one little area for. And then another great tool to have to remove these stones because this glue and primer process is that good and that quick. You might look into getting some nail nippers. They're very sharp. Please use caution. And um, also uh, gloves are helpful because you don't want to um, continue to get oils on your items after you've cleaned them. So that's kind of what's in your kit and what's not in your kit. And so let's get going with the tutorial. Okay, so I've got my gloves on. Um, there's lots of reasons that you should wear gloves. Number one, like I said earlier, is we're gonna be cleaning your item that you're gluing onto. So gloves is, are going to keep your oils from getting back onto your item because oil is a no-no with any kind of gluing, so gloves are very helpful. Um, the other reason why you wanna wear gloves is this is a, um, it's, it's a super glue. If you glue your fingers together, you will not be happy, but if you have on gloves, you have that extra barrier. Um, so there's gloves. And so what I'm gonna do start with right now is use my little crystal ninja file and I've got an extra little alcohol wipe here so I don't have to open up my actual um, prep kit and I'm gonna work on this area here for the tutorial and we're gonna be using um, lots of sizes in this um, this is the Kira Kira um, pink opal kind of uh, I believe this is the multi mix pack and it has around 250 crystals not too many we're just going to be putting a few dots and uh, to have a little fun with that. So I'll put that aside for now. Um, some colors of the rubber and silicone uh, don't show sanding marks all that often or all that much. And so please just test your items. Um, I'm going to just kind of sand this whole area and not be very precise. If I wanted to be precise, that's why I would get my e-file out and go that direction because you can easily do... Um, detailed items by just kind of prepping those onesie twosie little dots. Little one two little dots. Get that perfectly in there. That's how I did this one and uh, but that'll be in a different class. So for today we're just going to be going over all the steps. Uh, so here we go back over here and the rougher side is going to be your back side and you just want to give it a nice kind of 
scrubbing, sanding. You may not even notice any abrasions happening because this material is just, uh, it's, it's very strange. Now you can see some happening, some dust coming off of there. So you just want to get a little bit of abrasion going. You can't even see it happening unless you start using your rotary uh, dremels and e-files, things like that. So now I'm going to use uh, the alcohol wipe. This is going to clean the surface, get the um, little residue off. And you can even put this back in the package to use on the opposite side whenever you get over there. We only give you two alcohol wipes in your packet. Um, and you can, of course, extend on that and get the larger wipes. Um, we love to use, you know, any kind of alcohol wipes are great to have. Or just paper towel um, and the 99% uh, 99, 99 alcohol. Sorry, I couldn't get that out of my mouth. Um, so now they have this nice and clean. And let's go ahead and get, I've already got some wet glue from earlier. So I'm gonna, I like to stay in the points of the tray just because it makes a nice puddle for this glue. I'm gonna put two drops. It could, it could be two or three. It's not um, anything that's you know gonna have to be exact. And I just want like a little puddle in there for when I use my little applicator stick to get these tiny dots of glue. So I'll let's get everything ready. Let's go ahead and pour out our pink opal Kira Kira glass rhinestones. And I'm gonna place my stones over here. I'm gonna be using both my hands, my left hand and my right hand to do this gluing. That way it helps you go a little faster with your process because this is a very fast cure, very fast. Uh, before you start your gluing, you want to add a little bit of your primer. I'm only going to be working on this kind of top area, so that's where my primer is going to go. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle on a couple of dots of the stones as we go. Just a nice little sprinkle. Um, and you don't want to have your stones touch. If you have your stones touch, um, as the watch band bends, it could crack the bond. And you don't want to use giant stones because even though the bond is going to be wonderful and it will flex with the band, you don't want to put giant stones on here and then force the silicone. If you can see this white area that's kind of showing up, I hope it's going to focus on here. Um, that's the actual silicone pulling and breaking. So with tons of bending and tons of force, um, the foil will pop. You'll lose that stone because the foil can't hold that glass on there because the glass can't bend. It's just super bonded onto that itty bitty section of all these little dots of silicone, letting the rest of it bend. But if it was all crammed together touching, then it would be very stiff. And the first time you bent it, you'd probably lose quite a few of these stones. So it gives you enough flex to be able to, of course, use it as a watch band, but it's not meant to abuse the bend and constantly bend it and try to crack it and things like that. So take that into note when you're um, designing your items that it's not meant to just bend crazy and flex crazy. It's not a flexible glue. It's a, um, a very strong bond to a flexible surface. So each little dot needs its own bond and having them be too close or touching is a problem. That it's not meant to just bend crazy and flex crazy. It's not a flexible glue, it's a, um, a very strong bond to a flexible surface. So each little dot needs its own bond and having them be too close or touching is a problem. So I may have spoke too long, spoken too long, so we'll add a little bit more of the primer. It does evaporate quite fast. So every few moments, I want you to add more primer. So the first thing we're going to do and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in for this part. And I'm going to stay up where it needs to stay. Let's get some stones up there. Lots of sizes. These packages, I believe, has size SS20 on down to 4. I'm going to stay away from the 20s. I believe they are a little bit too large for the bend that I want these, um, this band to have. So here we go. I'll put a couple of... Well, I'm going to just do one dot at a time. And that wasn't even enough glue. A tiny dot is all you need, but too much and the stone won't bond. And what's also strange is too little 
and the stone will not bond. So you have to practice, if you want to practice putting dots on just uh, scrap paper to see your dot sizes, then please by all means do that to get a feel for how this little stick kind of works. I'm using my left hand and my right hand for this process because that way you don't lose much time picking up and placing each stick, each tool, things like that. And it's a very tiny amount of glue is all you need, very tiny. And then I want you to hold the stone on there a couple of seconds like one, 1,000, 1,000, 3, and then roll off with your tool. And that is it, you guys. Itty bitty, tiny dots of glue, because once you press the stone in, it's going to disperse the glue to the edges of that stone. We will add a few more for this demonstration. You can even count if you want to, 1,000, 2, 1,000, and then let's just do a, a little tiny, like, like a little SS6 here. Hold that on there. Awesome. And let's add one more larger 16. I think that's one there. Do I see my glue? There we go. And now I'm going to get a different angle and really show you the size dots of glue that are being used here. Okay, let's see if I can show just how small of a dot you're going to need for this process. That size dot is plenty big for an SS12 very small dots of glue that's all you need if you have any oozing out it's going to turn white it's going to etch the surface and bloom and not be very attractive very tiny sometimes even the dot of glue won't even we'll do even a smaller one like an eight i'm sorry that might be a six and be careful where you place them if they slide or move where you don't want them, then you need your nippers to remove them. It's a very strong bond. We'll put another small guy right there. I think you can maybe see that glare with the light. And that's fabulous. Then you want to add more of your primer as you keep going, it's going to evaporate quite quickly. And then you can even, as the glue gets these little um, puddles on them, you want to keep that nice and clean. So I'm going to wipe my napkin off. I'm sorry, I'm going to wipe my uh, stick onto my napkin to try to get that little um, section off of there, keep it nice and clean. You can even file, use your, um, use your emery board to kind of file that down and get that nice and clean and try that again so let's see we'll put another large I say large dot of glue it's just so small and now there looks like there's a, a speck of something on there Let's do another 16. Press, I, I, I give it some firm pressure. Don't smash the end of your applicator tool, your katana, but give it some pressure and then I roll off. There we go. That's a piece of glitter. So now to show you how to remove a stone, if something falls, let's hope it doesn't, but to remove a stone, let's see, let's actually check these. If I did everything correctly, nothing is going to scrape off. I'm going to use my fingernail and then my glove. I'm going to give them a very hearty scrape with my nail. Nothing is coming off. And I didn't have anything oozing out to get on my glove to then spread to the other stones. Pardon me. So to remove a stone, you're going to get your little nippers. You're going to get, you're going to pinch it, kind of bend it, and then just 
pop that off and you definitely wear your your um, safety glasses for this part sometimes it really wants to um, rip this silicone material if the bond is so good and so fast then I need to bring in a knife because I don't, really don't want to leave a dent in this silicone so just lightly chop that away just kind of slice that off so that you're not leaving a damaged a horribly damaged spot and then you can reapply your glue I've already moved my tray but let's see if I can put another piece oh and let's add some more of the primer Get that dry real quick super fast and then a dot of glue so hopefully that stone that I need, needed to repair needs to go back on that same spot or else it will usually leave a blemish and that is no good. So see that tiny dot and the blemish? We're going to aim for the same spot. Hold that on, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, that's fine. Roll off with your tool. Then I do like to always give it another very firm press with the opposite side of your crystal katana. And there we go. Looks pretty good. No oozing, no weirdness. And if you have any um, blooming, any white showing up afterwards, you can. I did it on this one was my little test. Um, I put a little bit of baby oil on that white bloomed area and then wiped everything off with a, just a cotton uh, towel, like a polishing uh, cloth. And it looks absolutely wonderful. So if you have any etching, you can try some uh, baby oil of some kind. I actually have um, some cuticle oil here at my desk, and that's what I used. So any kind of a nice, gentle oil you can put on there. Once it's done, once it's cured, you want to give 24 hours. Um, and there you have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This is our Samurai Glue Kit, and the secret is now yours. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little tutorial. Okay, and also a helpful tip to clean out your tray is to just cut um, a napkin and dispose of this. You don't want to get this everywhere. And um, if you were to let it dry in the tray, it would just accumulate. So you kind of want to get that all out if you can. And then dispose of that in the trash can. So there you are. It's nice and clean on that side. I've left a little puddle from earlier, uh, but it's going to dry up by tomorrow. And that's a way how you can clean your tray. You can also um, clean your little um, applicator stick by just wiping it off on a napkin. And then if you have an, a, an accumulated glue there, then you can file that um, off as well. Or keep a little knife and cut those, cut those off. Keep it nice and clean. Nice and clean makes the smallest little dots.